wants precisely the same things as you want. That may be, though, she's being well, somewhat more realistic and saying, no, I we're not going to so, get the sort I don't of... think so, John. She says no deal's better, you know, better than a bad deal. Well, well no well, deal is a bad deal, actually. Right, so you'd a prefer to difficult... have a bad deal, would you? No, but being a... saying that you're going to be a bloody difficult woman right at the start of negotiations tends to make sure that you do get a bad deal, if I'm honest, rather than actually working well, with our it, partners uh, across Europe to get the best deal for Britain. Uh, so what would you do? Roll over? Absolutely not, John, but, you know, the negotiation is part of a dialogue between two uh, two parties, and at the moment, unfortunately, Theresa May, in the way that she's handled it, has made, our, made us look like, you know, ogres across Europe. But, you know, if you see the pictures now, Theresa May's at the back of the queue whenever she's talking to the leaders in Europe. You know, we're a laughing stock across well, Europe. because we voted we don't need to, to leave be. the European Union. I don't believe that's the case. I believe it's the way in which Theresa May has handled it so far. You've got Boris Johnson and, you know, David Davis and people like that that are on the world stage trying to negotiate it that laugh and smirk and think it's all one big laugh well, would they you, make uh, promises to the British people of 350 million a week for the NHS and then say well that was just a pledge well would